All right, so the easiest way that I have found to lay a subfloor is to do the insulation one sheet at a time, and then you can actually use your insulation as a template to cut your next piece, your OSB board. Um, what's nice about this is they're gonna lay right on top of one another. They are all getting glued down, so you don't have to worry about cracks and stuff like that. So don't worry about overcomplicating this. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually cutting my OSB board. This is one inch thick, panther board a lot of different names but as you can see i take it and i dry fit it so the reason why i dry fit it is to make sure that everything's right it's correct it fits left right forward it's got a nice complete edge where the last board met up so now that i've confirmed everything looks good everything is solid let's go ahead and pick it back up see nice edge right so let's go ahead and pick it back up take it back out set it on top of the osb now that we have on top of the OSB, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is trace the actual board. Um, once the board is traced, I know where to cut. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. So here we go, right side, left side. Um, this is all sped up obviously so that it's quick. I don't cut that fast. <laughs> so there's the board. Let's take the original piece, set it down, use it to dust all the dust off if you'd like. Look, looks perfect. Wanna get a closer look? Let's check it out. So as we get closer to it, you can see all the edges match up and that is what it's supposed to look like. Let's go ahead and take it inside. First board is gonna be your one inch or bigger if you'd like. Let's glue that down. Um, so this is one inch pink board. Set it down, smash it all in, make sure all the corners, cracks and crevices are good. Get all the bubbles out. I always shake it left and right and then it settles. First board is good. Second board, well, let's go ahead and glue it down. There's the glue. I can't pick up the board and hold the phone at the same time, so boom, there it is. So now that that's done, that's good to go. And there's a few other things, but as you can see, there's not a big crack, not a big gap. I can build a nice frame around that and spray foam around the wheel wells. I actually like to use, as you can see, my toe strap to go from the back of the bus to the front of the bus, making sure all the gaps are sealed. 